Now, some of you may learn further and you encounter something called total internal reflection. What is total internal reflection? It only happens when light travels from an optically denser medium to an optically less dense medium. So for example, when light travels from water to air, it can happen. But when light travels from air to water, it cannot happen. Why? Because water is optically denser, air is optically less dense. From optically denser to less dense medium, it can happen. But the other way around, it cannot happen. The second condition for it to happen is the angle of incidence it makes with the separation between the two media. If the size of this angle of incidence is greater than a certain value, call the critical angle, then total internal reflection will happen. So, example, light traveling from air to water. This is an instant ray because the arrow shows that it's traveling towards the separation between air and water. The angle between the normal and the instant ray is this an instance angle that we're talking about. Sorry, is this angle of incidence that we're talking about. Depending on the size of this angle, Total internal reflection may or may not happen. Now, so exactly what is total internal reflection? Let me draw a diagram showing three cases to you. So exactly what is total internal reflection? Let me draw three diagrams to show you. First case. If the size of this angle i, the angle of instance, is less than the critical angle. Then what happened will be that light will be reflect, reflected into air. Now, most of the light will be reflected into air. But there will be a small amount of light that is also reflected into back into the water. So in this case, both reflection and refraction happens, but most of the light will enter the air by refraction. A small amount of light will be reflected back into water. This is a case when the angle of instance is less than the critical angle. 
Second case. If the angle of instance is equal to the critical angle, then what happens? What happens is that most of the light <clears throat> will be refracted at an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. Okay? And in this case, you travel along the separation of air and water. Again, just like the previous case, a small amount of light will be reflected back into water. Third case. If this angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, then it will not be a small amount of the light anymore. All of the light will be reflected back into water. This is what we call total internal reflection. Why the word total? As you remember, in the earlier two cases, a small amount of light is reflected back into water. But in this case, all the light is reflected back into water. That's why this is called total internal reflection. <clears throat>